back with another video man rob every day and uh i'm at the house right now man just relaxing it's been a hell of a weekend i guess i wouldn't know because i ain't did too much of nothing i have but i haven't but uh just getting like my meal prep stuff ready and out in the yard i was cleaning up the house a little bit that's how i need to make a video and uh of course i got a message right I got a little message for everybody so i'm going through this thing right now and i feel like it's time for me to cut some of the dead weight and what i mean by dead weight is like i got people around me people that's friends and they're gonna remain friends you know what i mean uh ain't nothing happened that I feel to the point where I need to end the friendship. But I do feel it's time for me to kind of move on and leave certain individuals behind. You know, like sometimes the company you keep and the people around you can hold you back from being who you need to be. And I'm at a crossroads right now. And some of the stuff that I've been doing, some of the stuff that I've been involved in, some of the people that I've been involved with, male and female, I just need to cut loose, grab the scissors, cut them off. Um, it's not every day that I have to make this decision. Um, and I've cut people off before, so I know how people feel normally when I cut them off and when I stop you really like dealing with them in the way that like I used to deal with them or whatever, but it's just time for me to let them go. I'm being held back. And I feel like this, man, if you friends with somebody, I ain't necessarily saying that you gotta like be there for your friends financially, right? But I should at least be able to get some type of inspiration from my friend or somebody who I consider to be a brother or a sister to the point where like all right you doing something let me get myself together and when you're hanging around people who really don't have that ambition to, like want to get it to want to get money to want to better themselves to want to be better people man sometimes you find yourself in a messed up situation to the point where you end up stooping down to their level because they're going to accept you for who you is no different than people or, or men who accept other men who don't take care of their kids. You feel what I'm saying? Who don't do the things that they're supposed to do for their family. Um, if you hang around a bunch of men that take care of their kids, nine times out of 10, you're gonna follow suit because this is the standard that's being set by the people around you. You feel what I'm saying? But if it's being accepted that we ain't getting no money, if it's accepted that we broke, and we ain't gonna do nothing, you know what I mean? We ain't gonna try to attempt to start our own businesses or, you know, just do things that will actually put us in better situations. And, and you cool with that? You with the wrong crowd, man. I'm gonna be real with you because if you hanging with me, I may not be able to finance your dreams and your hopes, but for one, I'm gonna support you verbally, physically. And if you got a service that you're selling, from time to time, I may be able to help you out financially. You feel what I'm saying? But, you know, if you're hanging with me too, I'm going to come up with ideas. Like, I was just talking to a couple of my homies about this. You know, we all talking about making some extra money, doing some things. Now, y'all know I didn't have my own lawn care service before. And I didn't got contracts for people before. Like, I have my own government contracts. So, my thing is this. How about we get our money together? Everybody buy a pickup truck. I already got one. Everybody get a decent sized trailer. Everybody get a zero turn mower. Everybody get a push mower. Everybody get a weed trimmer. And everybody get a, a, a weed blower. Get a blower. Be about four or five people. You get 10 yards of your own at however much you're charging them. Uh, you're going to make decent money off your 10 yards. But what we're going to do is come together with all of our equipment and we're going to get some big contracts and cut some complexes.
cut some real estate properties and stuff like that. Them is the type of conversations I have with my friends. I don't know what y'all be talking about. Y'all be sitting around smoking weed. Who got the best Zod pack? Uh, what, who, you know, who you hit last, what female you, uh, you know, put it to last night. I mean, that's all good, man. But at some point, we got to talk about this business. We got to talk about this money. Because the things that we have ain't cheap. Cars ain't cheap. Clothes ain't cheap. Putting food on the table ain't cheap. Taking care of your kids ain't cheap. If you got insurance, insurance ain't cheap. But I ain't talking about insurance on your car. I'm talking about health insurance. You know what I mean? And that's a whole nother conversation. Life insurance. That's a whole nother conversation, right? Finishing up this vlog, though, right? I, I had to take a break. First and foremost, let me show y'all something. Like I said, I'm being real with y'all, being transparent, and being like myself on the vlog. So, like... We're going to get into a lot of different stuff on these vlogs. I'm going to get into a lot of different content. Like, I'm going to be bringing y'all some stuff. But sometimes I'm going to just come and chop it up with y'all like I'm doing right now. Um, so that way y'all can get to know me. So when we take off, and ain't no questions about who I really am. As well as, you know, y'all know, like, I'm keeping it real. And I ain't hiding nothing from y'all. I'm giving y'all my real life, right? So one of the things that I wanted to show y'all, though, man. And I know it's funny. Hold on. Can I turn this off? Nah, damn. Let me see. Hold on. I'm going to turn that light off. There you go. All right, so one of the things I've been wanting to show y'all for a minute is this, man. Like, y'all know I wear hats all the time, but I'm about to stop wearing hats. I'm about to stop wearing hats all the time. I'll just wear my, my head. Um, and I know y'all have never seen me with my hat off. Um, so here we go. Now, nah, y'all really can't because it, 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 ain't, it ain't daylight outside. So y'all really can't see it, but yeah, I'm bald, man. I shaved my head. Some days when y'all be seeing I got hair on the side of my hat and it's coming out, it's because I didn't shave it that day. So I'll be having like a little uh, sunroof pulling up with the ceiling missing at the top, man. You know what I mean? But with that being said, that's just something about me that I don't know if people knew that or not. But now y'all know, and it's like I, I gotta like my face is tan, but my head is so I gotta start stop wearing these hats all the time, man. But anyway, like with that being said, I just want to keep it real with y'all. Um, and I just got like I ain't asking for y'all to agree with everything I say. I enjoy reading the comments where people ain't like really connecting with my opinion on stuff not necessarily that they don't like the content because even in the videos where i was being critiqued like about the bankruptcy video people still connected with my content and that's all i'm asking for is for my subscribers just to connect with me regardless if you got a, a difference of opinion or not this is a place where we can have that conversation that like i'm not like the youtuber that's gonna like really go real crazy in my comments like and if you being disrespectful in the comments or whatever, I'm definitely not going to respond to those. Like, I just ain't got time to waste. Like, I watched this one YouTuber. I know he's younger than me. But uh, he cut off his comments. And I ain't mad at him for cutting off his comments or whatever. You know, if that's what he wanted to do, that's cool. But he cut off his comments and stuff, man. And um, basically, he kind of, like, don't want people comment because the comments been kind of negative. So he say... Me, myself, I ain't really tripping about y'all's comments. Like, it is what it is, man. And everybody is entitled to their opinion about whatever it is I'm saying. Just make sure you hit that like button while you comment, man. That's all I ask for. Like, you ain't got to, you know, like what I say. You ain't got to agree with me or none of that, man. You know, and shout out to the people that do agree with me. But for those who don't agree with me, shout out to y'all, too. Because I don't agree with everything that people say, even the people that I rock with. People that I'm cool with. Like, I just... I, I just got a difference of opinion. You feel what I'm saying? So that's all good, man. But, you know, like just to keep it on the topic and about what I was talking about, man, I'm just like changing up my circle, man. Um, I'm, I'm somewhat of a loner, though. I ain't going to lie to y'all. Like I spend a lot of time, a lot of valuable time by myself or with the woman that's in my life. You know what I mean? At the time or whatever. So um, if I, you know, doing that, I'm with the kids or something like that or i'm by myself i spend a lot of time i spend i spend a lot of my time by myself man uh and i like it that way even when i was in the streets after so long when i was hustling and selling dope like i would just be by myself 
Because I look at it like this. If I'm by myself and I go to jail, I can't tell on myself. But if I got somebody else with me, they might tell on me. You feel what I'm saying? So I did my dirt by myself, too. It's a lot of shit I did in the streets that a lot of people don't know that I did it. Because, again, I was by myself and can't nobody tell my story but me. You feel me? So it is what it is, man. But I'm going to keep bringing y'all this content, man. I'm going to keep dropping that, man. You know, if you in a if you in a situation where you hanging around some people and they don't want to do nothing with their lives, man, and they I mean, this go for all ages, man. This for like from ten to 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 a hundred. Like if you around some people, man, and they ain't trying to do nothing with their life, man, or they bringing you down, man, get them people up out your circle, man. Get away from them people because at the end of the day, don't they don't mean you no good, man. And sometimes them people is only around because of what you bring to the table and not what they can actually bring along with them along with what you bring it to the table to bring it together and make something bigger you feel what i'm saying some people are just leeches man some people it's just parasites some people are just around for the ride man and when you done and you ain't got nothing else they disappear and they go hang with the next person you know how many friends i got man or, or so-called friends that i was cool with that we did a whole bunch of stuff with that i don't even talk to on a daily basis now man it ain't because we actually fell out or they did something different than me or they you know it's just because we grew apart you know what i mean but some of my homeboys that i don't hear from on a daily basis they doing real good like my homeboy ma man he doing real good he got his own building uh commercial buildings he got you know real estate property man he raising his kids you know what i mean he got all girls i mean he's just doing his thing man and like you know when i talk to him we connect we connect you know what i mean but we don't talk every day but that's a friend that's damn near on the same page as me man like you know we just we just clean our circle up because at the end of the day man you know people don't mean all of us well man you know so y'all have seen them all on the um videos before too man so along along with that being said that's why y'all don't see a whole bunch of men around me on the videos and stuff and y'all may not see that you know going forward you know y'all might see brandon here or there y'all might see maul here or there but for the most part y'all ain't gonna see a whole bunch of uh, uh, uh men around me you know what i mean y'all gonna see my kids my family you know what i mean and and that's how i'm gonna keep it you know and i may eventually get the person you know my love interest that you know once i get that part of my life situated maybe they're joining the vlogs too then i think that'll be a dope situation but for now man this is you know y'all gonna get this content and I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure it's entertaining though but i'm also make sure i bring y'all something with some substance every now and then too you know um i watch a lot of different vlogs and stuff and i don't want to imitate what somebody else is doing I want to do my own thing, you know what I mean? 